Oh, hey! <laughs> Vlogging. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> you too. Hey guys, welcome to my pool workout video. If you're new to my channel, just know that I do a lot of video commentaries because I want you guys to get inside my head and understand why I'm doing the things that I'm doing. If you guys are a subscriber and regularly watch my videos, then you guys are pretty much used to this by now. So let's get right into it. Before I actually do these lat pull downs, I foam roll and I do some mobility band work for my shoulders and rotator cuffs. And when I actually do these lat pull downs, I keep the weight very light, just trying to get my joints warm and some blood flowing. Now getting into the actual workout, my staple and foundational movement for a really thick and strong back has got to be pull-ups. Although I'm a power lifter, I actually really enjoy doing pull-ups. To me, it's just a movement that I must always be able to do. And they build your biceps, your rear delts, your lats, your traps. It's not something that you want to neglect. It's an excellent compound movement. And I guarantee you that if you do the light lat pull-downs prior to doing pull-ups, you're only going to perform better for your pull-ups. And if you're unable to do pull-ups yet, I recommend using the assisted machine or better yet, do some inverted rows. And in regards to how wide you should be gripping the bar for your pull-ups or your lat pull-downs, I recommend going a hand to a hand and a half wider than shoulder width grip, just because if you go too narrow, you're actually gonna have a longer range of motion and that longer range of motion is gonna make you use your bicep and forearms more. I also wanted to note that for the pull-ups, I recommend not pushing to failure for every set. Maybe just leave about one to two reps left in the tank. That way you guys can still have the energy to perform these other exercises later on. And in regards to my set and rep scheme, you guys don't have to follow it to a T if you're planning on trying this workout for yourself. I would recommend starting with just two sets for each exercise and just kind of getting a feel of it. And after that, each week, try to pick up more and more weights, try to do more sets and then more reps. Now one very important thing I want to say about all these pull movements such as pull-ups, pull-downs, and rows is that every time you do these movements you want to make sure that you're squeezing your shoulder blades back and you're also retracting your scapula because if you're doing anything but that you're not going to stimulate the lats and you're going to be using more arms than anything else. One trick I use to better engage my lats for my pull movements and to better engage my biceps for these curls is I actually do everything thumbless because when I actually grip with my thumbs I kind of bring my forearms in with it more and I'm trying not to use so much my forearms I'm trying to focus more on the other stuff now to actually train my forearms and my biceps at the same time I like to use hammer curls right here I'm super setting hammer curls with some reverse flies hitting the rear deltoids as well the rear deltoids actually get a lot of stimulus just from doing all the rows and all the pull movements if you can really retract that scapula like I mentioned earlier and squeeze your shoulder blades you'll automatically feel your rear delts engage as well now this is the finishing movement for the day, wrapping up with dumbbell shrugs. This is going to work out the upper portion of your back known as your traps. With this, I like to keep the weight pretty moderate, nothing too excessively heavy so I don't pull anything. I hold the top portion for a good second or two to really feel my traps contract and engage. You guys might notice that I'm not doing any lower back exercises on my pull day just because I actually have two deadlift days in the week that goes with my lower body day. Alright guys, that concludes my full pull workout, back, biceps, traps, and rear delts. I hope you guys like this video. Give the workout a try. If you guys love it, please hit the like button below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you guys have any questions or want me to make any more workout videos, feel free to leave it in the comments. I'll be more than happy to help in any way that I can. I'm actually really enjoying getting back to YouTube right now and I feel like I'm having momentum going on. Hopefully I can keep this up. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching.